Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're looking at Philips Speech Live, which is a cloud-based dictation management system that provides great flexibility and portability for both authors and typists. Many new features have been added to Speech Live over the last few years and we'll look at each of them in this video. Firstly, let's take a look at creating a dictation. As an author, there are three different ways to create a dictation in Speech Live. Using a digital voice recorder, using a mobile app, or directly in the web portal. First, let's log into Speech Live. Simply go to speechlive.com and click login. Log in with your email address and password. This is the author's view, and currently there are no dictations, so let's upload one. I've already created a recording on my Philips DPM 8000 recorder, so I'll just go ahead and connect it to my PC now. Since I have the upload client installed, the recording has automatically been uploaded to Speech Live. If I didn't have this installed, I would simply click the Upload button and select the file manually. In this way, I can upload files from any PC, not just my own. The work list will refresh automatically, or I can do it manually by clicking the Refresh button. This file is now in Speech Live, and my typist will be able to see it immediately. The next method is to record from my smartphone. This is the Speech Live mobile app, which has all the same functionality as a dedicated recorder. As you can see, the file I created earlier is showing in the app. Let's create a new file. This is a test recording, 12345. I can go back and overwrite my previous dictation. This is an example of overwriting. Alternatively, I can insert. This is an example of inserting. When I'm done, I simply hit Finish and choose the option to send to my transcriptionist. As you can see, the file is now in Speech Live along with the file that I created earlier. If I return to the website, I can see it here too. And again, it'll be available to my transcriptionist immediately. The last method of creating a new dictation is directly in the web browser. This requires a microphone or headset to be connected to the PC. Simply click the red record button and use the controls on screen to create your recording. This is a test recording using the web browser. If you have a Philips speech mic, you can use the buttons on the recorder to control the recording as well. The web recorder has all the same functions as a dictaphone and the mobile app. When we're finished, click Finish. Once again, the recording has appeared in the list and will be available immediately to my typist. Next, let's look at how typists can access dictations in Speech Live. The first method is through the web portal, which has the advantage of being available on any PC connected to the internet and no software installation is required. This is particularly helpful for organisations with staff either working from home or from remote offices with no access to the local network. Again, we simply log in at speechlive.com and here I've already signed in as a typist. As you can see, the web portal is very similar to the author's view we looked at earlier, with a few subtle differences. This particular typist types for three different authors and the work can be filtered either by author or by the state of the dictations. Dictations can also be sorted by clicking on the headings. In order to type a dictation, we simply click on the Start button next to the file that we'd like to open up. The dictation is loaded into the playback strip and can be controlled using either a Phillips foot control or the controls on screen. This is a test recording. Once the file is complete, we simply hit Finish. The state of the file has changed to indicate that it has been completed. After some period of time, the file will be moved into the archive depending on the settings on the account. The change in state is visible immediately on the author's portal and smartphone. The next method is SpeechExec Pro Transcribe software. This provides a more familiar interface for those who might have used it in the past and is available as an optional add-on for your SpeechLive subscription. If you already have a compatible version of SpeechExec, Speech Live can be simply plugged in. As you can see, our three dictations are visible and their state is in sync with the web portal. Using Speech Exec Pro also provides integration with some versions of Dragon. Contact us for more information about this. A new addition to Speech Live is the Speech to Text package, 
which enables various speech recognition features within SpeechLive. Here's a quick demonstration of the new SpeechLive Windows app for direct dictation into other applications. I'm now dictating directly into Microsoft Word using the speech to text package full stop. This can be done in any Windows application and the Mac version will be available soon full stop. Next, let's look at speech to text within the Speech Live web portal. This time, we simply click the green record button to start the recording with speech to text. I'm now dictating into the online recorder with speech to text full stop. In this case, comma, both the audio and text will be available full stop. As before, we click finish to submit the dictation. The attachment icon indicates the document is attached and it can be viewed and edited by my typist. We can also submit existing dictations to speech to text by clicking the speech to text button in the toolbar. Simply confirm the language and click send. The file is now queued and will be returned with an attachment in a short period of time. As we can see, the attachment icon has again appeared. This submission of files can be done through the web portal, the mobile app, or within SpeechExec Pro software. Next, let's look at using the speech-to-text package within the mobile app. Simply click the new dictation button, followed by speech-to-text. This is a dictation directly into the mobile app using speech-to-text, full stop. From here, the text can be copied into other applications, or the dictation can be finished. We can see on the app that the file contains an attachment, like the earlier examples, and once again, the file can be downloaded by my typist. This concludes our speech live overview. Please contact us if you have any questions or would like to organize a no obligation free trial of the system.